in this video I shall be discussing about S block. So if I get around 400 likes for this video then I shall be continuing the block chemistry and some tips regarding it. So now let us begin. So if I take chlorine and H2O we shall be deriving all the reactions. So first of all I am taking dilute and cold NaOH. So whenever I am taking NaOH, first of all you have to remember that H2O is always present because we always take aqueous NaOH. So first of all we have to always react it with H2O. So if I react Cl2 with H2O, so I will be getting C, HCl and HOCl. Okay. Now the reaction is asked with NaOH. So we shall be deriving with it. So HCl plus NaOH will give me NaCl plus H2O. Similarly, if I react NaOCl that is HOCl with NaOH, so I shall be getting NaOCl plus H2O. Now add all the three equations, so I will be getting HCl, HOCl to be cancelled, H2O to be cancelled, I will be getting Cl2 plus 2NaOH will give me NaCl plus NaOCl plus H2O. So we can derive all the reactions by the similar mechanism instead of learning them. If I take now uh, hot and concentrated NaOH, okay. So what is basically asked is that Cl2 plus NaOH will give me question mark that is the hot and concentrated NaOH. So first of all we all know that water must be present here. So we will be deriving by the help of mechanism. So Cl2 plus H2O will give me HCl plus HOCl ok now since this is hot and concentrated I will be multiplying by 3 you will come to know the reason ok now since it is hot and concentrated we will be getting a product of higher oxidation state so I can break HOCl that is 3 HOCl into HClO3 plus 2 HCl HOCl can be broken down into HClO3 and 2HCl. Now why HClO4 is not formed? Because the, the highest oxidation state is very difficult to form. Okay. So basically I will be getting 5HCl. So 5HCl plus how many NaOH I require to neutralize it? That is 5NaOH will give me 5NaCl plus 5H2O. Okay. Similarly I can react HClO3 with NaOH to give me NaClO3 plus H2O. Okay, now adding all these equations, I will be getting C. 3 plus 2, 5 HCl. So that will be cancelled. 3 HOCl, 3 HOCl will be cancelled. HClO3 is cancelled. HClO3 is cancelled. So in net, I can write it to be 3 Cl2 plus 6 NaOH will give me C. 6 H2O, 3 H2O. So I will be getting 3 H2O here plus 5 NaCl plus NaClO3. So similarly I can derive for Br2, I2 and F2 also. So basically we can see that we can derive all the mechanisms with the help of mathematics. Now let me go to the next one which is with metalloids. I'll be taking only two examples here that those are beryllium and aluminium. Okay so first of all I'll be getting with boron. So two so boron along with NaOH gives me question mark. So this is the question asked. Okay. So I'll be taking beryllium afterwards. Let me continue with boron here. So this is the question. So see boron plus H2O. First of all always react the question with H2O. So I'll be getting H3BO3. Now how to balance? See I'll be getting H3BO3 and hydrogen also. Okay. So balance it. Okay, now you have to write H3BO3 plus NaOH. To replace 3 hydrogen, I must have 3 OH. So I'll be taking 3 here. So I'll be getting Na3BO3 here plus H2O. Multiply this equation with 2. Why? Because H3BO3 is formed as an intermediate, so it has to be removed. So whenever I multiply it by 2, 2 H3BO3 will be removed. 6 H2 will also be removed as this whole equation is multiplied by 2. So 6 and 6 will get cancelled. I will be getting 2 boron plus 6 NaOH will give me 3 hydrogen plus 2 Na3BO3. 
okay so we are uh, we know that with metalloids we must get hydrogen and hence hydrogen is released okay let me take the next example which is with silicon okay so first of all what is the thing i have to react it with h2o so si plus h2o will give me h2sio3 plus hydrogen so balance the equation i will be getting 3h2o 3 oxygen are formed 3h2o and 3 hydrogen so how many 2 hydrogen will be released okay so h2sio3 is an acid i can react it with naoh to give me na2 SiO3 plus 3H2O. So what how I can add the reactions is H2SI3, H2SIO3 are getting cancelled, 3H2O, 3H2O. I'll be getting Si plus 2NaOH will give me 2 hydrogen plus Na2SiO3. So hence we can derive the equations for all the reaction with the help of mathematics. Let us go to the next one, which is with amphoteric oxides with amphoteric oxides okay so i'll be taking the first example to be zno so the question asked will be zno plus naoh will give me question mark okay so let us begin first of all it has to be aqueous medium so zno can be reacted with h2o to give me h2zn O2 okay H2ZnO2 can be reacted with NaOH how many moles I, I am having 2H here so I have to take 2OH to displace the H fully so I will be getting 2NaOH it will give me Na2ZnO2 plus 2H2O okay so what I will be getting is H2ZnO2 H2ZnO2 gets cancelled 1H2O is removed so ZnO plus 2NaOH will give me Na2ZnO2 plus H2O so instead of learning all these reactions we can derive them now what happens in the case if I take only Zn plus NaOH that is I am taking only amphoteric metal here, here I have taken amphoteric oxide I am taking only amphoteric metal here so what difference will come here is if I take Zn so first step is always to react it with H2O so what I'll be getting is, see, what I'll be getting is, hydrogen will be released and ZnO will come into place. Okay, now ZnO can be reacted with H2O to give me H2ZnO2. Okay, now H2ZnO2 can be reacted with NaOH. How many moles? 2 moles. So I'll be getting Na2ZnO2 plus 2H2O. Now balance the equation. So I'll be getting ZnO, ZnO cancelled, 2H2O cancelled, H2ZnO2 cancelled. So the final reaction will be Zn plus 2NaOH will give me Na2ZnO2 plus hydrogen and hence hydrogen gas is released. Hence we can derive for all the reaction equations. Now let us go to the next one which is reaction with amphoteric with amphoteric hydroxides so first of all what are amphoteric substances means they can behave as an acid and they can behave as a base also so what I do is I take ZnOH whole twice okay just convert it into H2ZnO2 C H2 comes here ZnO2 I can write it to be in acidic form as H2ZnO2 why I am writing this because I have to react it with NaOH so NaOH is a base and hence I have to take an acid to react with it so I will convert it into H2ZnO2 okay so the question asked will be ZnOH whole twice or any other amphoteric oxide plus NaOH will give me question mark okay so how to proceed into it so first of all we are getting a base here so I have to take an acid with it so I can write it to be H2ZnO2 plus NaOH how many moles of OH have to be taken is 2 because 2 hydrogen are there so it will displace it and I will be getting Na2ZnO2 
plus 2H2O. So this is a single step reaction which we can derive by converting the base into an acid because it is amphoteric substance. So now let's go to the next one which is with neutral oxides. Neutral oxides, I'll be taking example to be carbon monoxide here. Okay, since carbon monoxide is neutral, it is insoluble in water. It is insoluble in water. But what happens here is that CO will be soluble in NaOH. So how to do the reaction is C. CO plus NaOH on vigorous conditions will give me I will write heat HCO O minus Na plus so this on further heating will dimerize to give me Na2C2O4 and hence an oxalate is formed oxalate is formed ok so CO will be insoluble in water but it will be soluble in NaOH now let's go to the next point and derive the equations for with acid chlorides I will be taking a single example here all the reactions can be done in the similar way I am taking the example of chromyl chloride CrO2Cl2 so what is the first step the question that will be asked is CrO2Cl2 plus NaOH since there are large number of equations in this chapter so we will be deriving them instead of learning them so first step will be to hydrolyze it so CrO2 plus H2O so how I can break is I can react it with H2O so I'll be getting 2HCl plus CrO3 okay now CrO3 can be further reacted with water to give me H2CrO4 okay now I've got two acids here so I can react the acids with NaOH to give me salt plus water so I'll be getting 2NaCl plus 2H2O here Similarly, H2CrO4 can be reacted. So H2CrO4 plus 2NaOH will give me Na2CrO4 plus 2H2O. Okay, now we can add all the reaction equations to get the final product and hence I'll be getting 2HCl, 2HCl cancelled, CrO3, CrO3 cancelled, H2CrO4, H2CrO4 cancelled, 2H2O cancelled. So what I'll be getting is CrO2Cl2 plus 4 NaOH will give me 2 NaCl plus Na2CrO4 plus 2 H2O and hence on reaction with acid chlorides I will be getting a salt and a chromate in this case so similarly we can do for any other case let me do one more example for you here so I will be taking the case of question is SOCl2 plus NaOH will give me question mark ok so how to proceed it so first of all the major step is the hydrolysis so SOCl2 plus H2O C what I can get is 2HCl plus SO2 ok now SO2 can be further hydrolyzed to get H2 SO3 so I am getting two acids here so 2HCl plus 2NaOH will give me 2NaCl plus 2H2O similarly H2SO3 on reaction with NaOH will give me Na2SO3 see 2H are there so I have to take 2OH minus that's why I am taking a 2 here plus 2H2O now adding all these equations what I will be getting is H2H2O cancelled 2HCl cancelled SO2 cancelled H2SO3 cancelled so what I'll be getting is SOCl2 plus 4NaOH will give me 2NaCl plus Na2SO3 okay so this is how we can do the reactions with the help of mathematics let me take one more example SO2Cl2 plus NaOH will give me question mark so what is the major trick you have to remember here is that the oxidation state has to remain unchanged in the reactant and the products see what is the oxidation state of S here X minus 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 so that is plus 4 here so the oxidation state is plus 4 here and here also will be getting plus 4 so to remember that the oxidation state has to remain 
unchanged so what will be the OS here it will be plus 6 so let's proceed to the reaction so the first step is hydrolysis because aqueous solution so SO2 Cl2 plus H2O will give me C2 HCl plus SO3 okay now SO3 can be further hydrolyzed so SO3 plus H2O will give me H2SO4 now I am getting the acids so I can react it with the base so 2HCl plus 2NaOH will give me 2NaCl plus 2H2O okay H2SO4 can I be reacted with NaOH I have to take 2NaOH because 2 hydrogens are there so I will be getting Na2SO4 plus 2H2O okay so we can cancel the HCl SO3 the H2O's uh, and H2SO4 so what I will be getting the final equation will be SO2Cl2 plus 4NaOH will give me 2NaCl plus 2H2O plus Na2SO4 ok so this is how we have to do the reactions let me take one more example if I have P4O6 plus NaOH will give me question mark so first of all how we have to proceed we have to find the oxidation state what is the oxidation state of phosphorus here that is plus 3 so first step is hydrolysis so P4O6 plus H2O see where will be the plus 3 oxidation form oxidation state formed in the product plus 3 is in H3PO3 ok I have 4P here so I will be multiplying it by 4 so I will be getting 6 so here I will be writing 6 so this equation is balanced now I react H3PO3 plus NaOH the major product that comes into mind is Na3PO3 but that is not the case why because if I draw the structure of H3PO3 I will be having only two replaceable hydrogens ok so only two hydrogens will be replaced so I have to take only two moles here not three moles ok so this mistake shouldn't be done so I will be getting is Na2HPO3 the two hydrogens are replaced by two Na and one hydrogen is there into its place plus H2O so this equation can be balanced by multiplying it by four and hence cancelling this product and getting the final answer so I hope that's, that this short video helps you in doing the particular reactions so practice it and if you like the video give, give a thumbs up at the end thank you